Who we got right here, bro? Who we got right here, bro? Introduce yourself, bro. It's my brother, though, you heard? That's my that's my brother, you heard? Like what's called drill rap. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis with that story. Welcome to the family, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta take that off, bro. No disrespect. No disrespect. You don't even want this bumping up against that. You can do whatever you want to do with it later. Frenchy, I love you. I appreciate you. Gumbo is here. It's the D thing takeover. Let's go. And I kept saying. I said, this nigga's on a Rico. Mm -hmm. Man, this, we not gonna see this nigga until yeah. like 2040. It wasn't really like that, but I just got conspiracy, man. Mm. Like, just to like, feel me, be a gang. I don't really wanna talk about this, you know I'm still on parole and shit. Yeah, yeah, Hey, yo, squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. And well, it looks like Bronx Drill just got another lifeline now that your boy D Thang Jesus out the cage after reportedly being sentenced to three to five on numerous charges from weapons possession, controlled substances, and account of the conspiracy. Luckily for bruh, he was let out early and now he's back and ready to get back to work. Having recently been spotted with French Montana and the CB crew, it's clear that the 21-year-old rapper got a lot to look forward to. So just what happened with D-Thang in the first place to get him locked up? How did he get out so early? And what will his career become now that he's back on the streets? We gonna find out. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. D-Thang rose to prominence in 2020 as one of the original founders of Bronx Drill. As typical of most drill rappers, he got a couple of years the ball before the law caught up with him. Him and damn near his whole crew got swept up in a massive indictment from allegedly playing around in them streets. Back in May 2022, nearly three dozen alleged members of the RPT. Today, the Bronx District Attorney and NYPD announced the arrest of 23 members of RPT, a Bloods-affiliated gang linked to over a half dozen River Park Towers organization ended up being hit with several indictments with various charges, including conspiracy to commit homie, attempted homie, attempted assault, and criminal possession of a weapon. Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark and NYPD Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell announced a 65-count indictment related to multiple shootings in and around the River Park Towers complex in the High Bridge neighborhood of the Bronx. Another indictment charged seven of the defendants with attempted homie and other charges for an incident on August 17, 2020, in which they allegedly fired approximately 11 shots into a building and barely missed the head of one of the targets. A third indictment was for an incident in a Rikers Island jail on April 25th, 2021, when RPT members allegedly jumped one of the members of the Crips. They were also charged with an animal cruelty misdemeanor after authorities say they live streamed a pigeon that flew into their space. The bird was then compared to a Crip who came to the neighborhood. They told the viewers of the live that if they reach a certain milestone, they would take the pigeon out. Authorities say they reached that number and beat the pigeon to its demise with a cane on Facebook Live. I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. Ah! I can't look. According to investigation around the time of the incident, members would brag about their acts of violence and their easy access to firearms in their music videos while taunting members of the opposition. They also allegedly used many social media platforms to their advantage to recruit and gain a following to broadcast some of their cloudy hood shenanigans for views. On April 21st, 2023, the Bronx Drill heavy hitter got sentenced to three to five years in prison. As of December 2022, D thanks charges as a part of the indictment by the Bronx DA included two counts each of weapon possession and controlled substances, one count of conspiracy and one court order. However, after the rapper pleaded guilty, most of the charges were dropped except for one count each of weapon possession and conspiracy and a fine for the missed court date. D-Thing has been under arrest in a separate incident since December 7th, 2021. That counted towards his latest sentence. Before you know it though, the YG was out and back on the streets, basking in all of his thug glory. From the looks of it, bruh came home to a bag and some nice and shiny things. Soon as he walked out of them gates, he appeared to be in a very high spirit, and rightfully so. Yeah. 
both his homies and his ops reacted to his release, and there were even celebrities that embraced the return. The most popular and recognizable celebrity that has openly showed support for the rapper is another rapper himself, none other than Mr. Macaroni with the Cheese, aka French Montana. He hooked up D-Thang G's with a new chain, and the moment spread all over the internet. It looked like Montana officially welcomed D-Thang G's to the CB family. Welcome to the family, brother. Hey boy, welcome to the world. I know that. Cool boys family. I know that. Look at my heart. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. Welcome back. French didn't stop there though. He also blessed D Thang with some cash. French Montana also took to his Instagram stories to tease a first day out freestyle of some type from D Thang as they hit the studio together. It's funny how fast things can change though, because in a blink of an eye, your boy D took his little CB chain off and replaced it with a much bigger one. Street legend Luca Brasi came through and snatched D-Thang G's up for his gumbo brand roster. Yeah, you gotta damn, take that damn, damn. You gotta take that right, off, cool, no disrespect. Cool. Uh -huh. No disrespect. You don't even want this bumping up against that. Mm. You can do whatever you want to do with it later. So freshly released from incarceration, D Thing G's, also known as Daniel Collins, was not only embraced by French Montana with dope gifts, but he also received 250 in cash and a crazy gumbo diamond chain worth 500,000 allegedly. So simply put, bruh living good. I guess you can call what happened a passive bidding war. The surprises continued as Gumbo brand, recognized for excellence in the cannabis and lifestyle sectors, exceeded expectations with the cash gift and diamond chain. The gifts didn't just come without a price though. In fact, Gumbo brands officially signed D Thing G's to a management deal, initiating what promises to be a fruitful collaboration. So that would technically make the gifts that bruh received his signing bonus. Founded by the black owner entrepreneurial power couple, Kareem Butler and Alexis Major, Gumbo Brands has recently grown in the industry, expanding in the media world with ventures like Drink Champs. With strategic partnerships with popular artists such as Meek Mill, DeVito, Moneybag Yo, and others, Gumbo Brand has solidified its position as a multi-million dollar enterprise, seamlessly blending entertainment and cannabis culture. As successful as the company is, they don't have much skin in the record business. I mean, sure, they have the connections, but without a track record of records, success isn't guaranteed for D-Thing G's in this new venture. Nevertheless, his future is looking very bright, and he's still so young. Bro, really just getting started for real, which is scary. With his newfound freedom and newfound prospects in the music game, it's clear that D-Thing G's has a lot to be looking forward to this year. The question is, Will he be able to put that street BS to the side? If he can do that, then the world is bruh's oyster. Until then, bruh just gotta stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.